What's up guys, Slay Chris, bring you guys another video. It's about running, running, yeah, I said it, just running, solely it, but there's gonna be a more philosophical uh, sense behind this video. Definitely gonna let you guys know why running is so important, not just for the physical aspect of it, but for the mental aspect. Um, it just, it's good for the soul, it rejuvenates you. In a way, it lets you start fresh every single time you do it. And I'll definitely elaborate on that later on, but it's a running video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy a running video. See ya. Gotta go make a purchase for the training mask that uh, it's, it's good for your breathing tempo as you run or just for exercising in general. So I'm gonna see if they have it here at Big Five. How are you doing, sir? It is with the sale. There we go. Let's get it. Tell me why the cashier in there was flirting with me too. I just gave her, you know, a few smiles here and there. Wasn't really. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything, man. Just being a kind, friendly man. Finally got it though. Happy about I put it to work today. It's a super hot day too. It's in the 90s out in uh, California. I'll definitely be all right. You know, working out in sex is running. The heat's a lot more. More used to that, so I'll be fine. Just hope I don't pass out. Shit. All right, see you guys later. Training mask unboxing video. Shit. Shit. Not me to do that. So much for a boxing video, right? All right, I'll get it out in a few seconds and show you guys. This is crazy. God. God damn, dude, it's so hot. It's so hot. My fucking power rate just landed on my head. <laughs> And I'm wearing my training mask. So it's about to be a real tough run. I hope you guys can hear me and understand me. But it's about to be a really sick and intense run right now. It's a five mile run that I'm on. Like this place that I'm at. It's a five mile run. Or five mile trail. Excuse me. But I'm about to run the whole goddamn thing. Hope y'all enjoy. Got my ticket. It's time to go. We're ready. Using this, using this training mask, excuse my language, but holy shit, this thing is eating me up. It's my first time using it, and uh, I can definitely feel the difference in running. My goal now, seeing how you know I, how I feel with this, I'm gonna take the jog lightly, and I think I can complete it with this on. But if I'm really trying to put it myself, there's no goddamn way in hell. Hell no. I'm fucking tired of this shit! So fucking hot with this mask! Hell no! Fuck! It's so fucking hot! And if I keep complaining, my ass just might fall and pass out! Fuck that shit, bro! Uh, I decided to take a quick little break because I was not expecting it to hit me this bad. It actually is pretty damn hot, so wearing this mask is pretty killer. The champions are the ones who do the the actions that no one else would, that the average wouldn't. I'm not saying that I'm a champion, but what I'm saying is that I'm willing to put myself up to the test to begin my progression towards being a champion. Having this elevation mask puts you to the test, definitely. It requires all of your effort, it requires a lot of focus and patience too. Having to regulate your breathing patterns, you know, getting focused and calm with it. All at the same time, you know, jogging up, you know, a mountain or a hill with the sun beating down on your body. So it's a lot of work, it's definitely a lot of effort, but like I said, this type of work is what creates champions. You know, it separates you from the average Joe. And I think, I like to think of myself as, as better than, than the average, you know, or I, I wanna work harder than the average. And that's not to say that I'm being cocky either, it's that I'm confident. Two big different things. It's feeling pretty good, just freaking hot. Just freaking hot, but I'm about to go again. Just finished the run, super good. Really tiring. I'm glad that I was able to do it. It's five miles total. That shit was killer. I should have recorded the milestones, but I didn't. <sighs> Good one. Hey, I just wanna, boy. <laughs> hey, I just wanna add to this. Uh, this is a post video that I'm adding to the running video because I wanna elaborate more on the whole gist of what I've been talking about throughout the video. What you kind of noticed in the video, I've watched the video so many damn times already. <laughs> what you noticed is that you don't see any other people running as I'm recording. 
And that's not because I was primarily focusing on recording when I was by myself, but it was simply because there wasn't other people. Reason being is because you have a sun out there that's bearing down on your back, 95 plus degrees, running on the dirt, and it's something that is not is gonna be relentless towards you until you finish the trail, you know, the, the run, if you will, or hike. Because of that, it merely becomes an obstacle. People falter under that. As soon as you see something that they don't wanna deal with, they'll say, you know what, I'll do it another day. I'll do it this day, that day, but not today. And that's a, that's a big problem with people. When you have a plan, when you have a goal set in mind, don't let little things like this stop you from accomplishing what can be done already, rather than letting it dwell, letting it sit there for a while, having it sit there. You might get lazy, you might procrastinate, you might just postpone it once more, you know, again and again. That builds bad habits, it really does. So that was one thing that really upset me, you know. I saw, actually the only people I saw were older people. There were older men, older women that were running there. I saw no one of my age, I'm 19, I saw no one, no one of my age Everyone was older. I know that for a fact. I could tell. That trail gets used a lot by athletes, by runners for high school, stuff like that, you know. It was a Friday that I ran that, or Saturday. So it was a great day to go out running. And even though the heat was there, like, it's something that shouldn't be stopping people. One thing I kind of want to touch up on, too, is that earlier I said that it, it rejuvenates you. You know, it lets you start new. So when you go running, you're telling yourself, I'm going to stray away from what's the norm for my body, which is walking. I'm going to exemplify more force, more power, more energy into a greater goal, which is accomplishing a mile, accomplishing two miles, whatever, running. That one mindset right there is good because you're telling yourself that you're going to push yourself. Something as simple as the transition from walking to running is telling yourself that you're going to push yourself, right? Because now you're changing what's norm. Just normally walking into, now you're gonna be running. It gets your gears moving, and that's already a great start. Running, I believe, sets the tone for good habits. Running is great because it sets you up for, usually people who run, they run with a friend, they run with the music playing, or they run because they run as you hear the outdoor noises and whatnot. And it's a major stress relief. You know, it lets you be at peace with yourself for however long that run is. It makes it all, all the more better. Habits usually take 21 days until they become something that you'll automatically start doing like a machine. Running takes a lot of effort to do either way. Most people don't really want to do it, you know. If you can honestly get yourself to run, you're already taking the right steps. You're already setting yourself up for something that's going to help you a lot. Let's run Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You do that for three, four weeks, that's going to become a habit. Because of that, you're going to feel a lot more productive and it's going to have you doing more things in a similar fashion. So. It's, it, running is great, man, running is great, just believe me. Like, I, I used to hate running. I started welcoming it more and more, like, as I entered the Air Force and, like, just realized, like, how much of a help it really was to me. Um, with everything, like, cardio, like, I just felt better doing stuff. Um, and so, like, with that, I say, run. Run, run, run. At least just try it, go to the gym, go on one of the, the stair, those stair, staircase masters, stair masters or go ahead go on the treadmill, hit any of those joints up, do it man, just do it. Try it, at least try it. Uh, you won't regret it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was pretty fun to make. You guys have a great day. See ya.